tonight in the Party Poker Premier League Poker 5. It's the final league match of the season and the last chance to qualify for the final table automatically or get into the heads up spot to play off for the remaining two seeds. We're in the city of music, Vienna, for this season's Premier League Poker. 16 of the world's greatest players have been battling it out for a chance to be crowned champion. Last time, Group B took to the felt for their last league match, and this is how things shaped up. Players nervously arrived at Montecito for their last league match. It was always guaranteed to be an exciting bout, and the last chance for them to progress through to the next stage of the tournament. The league positions for Heat 4 see Selbst and Elke in the elimination zone, looking to be very active in this last league match. Wilanowski, however, can no longer qualify for the final. Tom Duan and Jungleman sit in the playoff zone, hoping to knock out those at the top of the table. And taking the top three spots are Scott Siever with 27 points, Patrick Antonius with 26, and Yevgeny Timoshenko with 25. Vanessa Selbst had a do-or-die attitude and went out firing in the opening stages. Her only hope was to see those at the top of the league eliminated first and for her to go on and win big points. Oh my! This should have reset! Well, this could be it for Scott Seaver. No way could he ever believe that he's beat right here. How tough is Seaver? Incredible. He called it Seaver on the precipice. If he is first out, the whole Group B gets thrown into disarray. The only time players could get involved was when they held a big hand. And Tom Duan went on to take down a couple of pots to help increase his chip lead. But Vanessa continued to steal the show, putting all the players to the test, and went on to take a massive chip lead. He knows her strategy, her style, just to be a bully. If he would bet here, she might check raise him out of this pot. That is for sure. She has raised him and won this pot because of it. An incredible play one more time by Vanessa Selbst. These are the chip counts after 68 hands. It's no surprise to see Selbst at the top. With less than half the number of Vanessa's chips, Dwan follows in second place with 400K. For the rest, it's tight at the bottom as the players scramble for a place at the final table. I'm joined again by Mike Sexton for this crucial second part of the Group B fourth match. Mike, I'm open-mouthed, I'm awed, and I'm bewildered by the extreme and surprising play of, of the players on this table. Vanessa Selps, for instance. Well, Vanessa Selps, she is truly an amazing poker player, but understands strategy and tactics, which, in fact, in this format, is predominant over proper poker play, and nobody understands it better than Vanessa. Now, we know she has to win to get through. So does she. That's what she's been trying to do. On the other side of the coin, there's players trying to protect their position on the leaderboard, like Antonia, Scott Seaver, and Yevgeny Timoshenko. No question about it. The point leaders coming in this final table are all playing very tight, as we expected them to. I continue to expect them to play tight. They're all going to hope that somebody goes out so they can pick up a few more crucial points to advance to that final. It's been the Vanessa Selp show, and until she gets stopped, and when she gets stopped, who will stop her? We've not yet lost a player here in this final heat, and uh, the players who are playing the most do seem to be getting most of the chips. How are you doing? Uh, great. This has been my best heat so far. It helps when uh, people aren't really playing hands, so uh, I've been able to chip up a lot. Um, I had a, kind of a bad seat at the table because uh, Ben Wolanowski was directly on my left and he's the only one that can really just like play completely normal because he is not you know in contention for the final table. But luckily I've picked up some hands, I've made some bluffs at good times and uh, luckily I've, I've, I think I have the upper hand in that battle even out of position so I've been pretty fortunate for that. 
We're seeing a lot more post-flop play than we did in Group A's final heat. Were you expecting that? Um, you know, I didn't really know what to expect coming out, honestly. I knew that it wasn't going to be the same as the earlier Group he Heat. I knew that people would, you know, play pots. Um, you know, it's not surprising people are keeping pots small until they, you know, trying to pot control. Um, that You see that. You don't see re-raises with aces. You see people checking turns with sets. Like, it's just sort of trying to keep the pot small until you really are sure of your hand or where you're at. Uh, so that was to be expected. But, um, yeah, I would say, like, it, it's not that surprising. All right. Well, thanks very much. Okay. Thank you. God, cards are going to be flying off the table soon for Dan. <laughs> All right, Scott, can you shut up for a bit? Because I'm actually thinking. Wow. She can't call aces. Oh, God, come on. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> like, my head almost exploded. Vanessa Selps, big smile. And, Mike, you just heard the players talking. You know, they'd been checking out the hands. And the, uh, the report is that Vanessa never has it. <laughs> Now, strategy and tactics at this point much more prominent than playing good poker right now. You got to understand where you stand in terms of point count and where your opponents stand. And you dictate your play based on that. That's why you've getting folded the jacks before the flop on the last hand. Yeah, big smile on Yevgeny's face today. He knows that this heat's been, well, I don't want to say going so well for him, but going not so well for the for his main competitors right now, which is puts him in a strong enough spot to be playing tight. Well, Vanessa Selps, who's continually raised nearly every single pot at this final table, or many of them anyway, now has picked up a legitimate hand. She's got an ace king. And I, I think she's raised this a little larger than normal. Or is it in? Has, she, has she really opened it for And he's gone all in. Ben Wilanowski has gone all in over the top of her. And I don't see her going anywhere here. Oh, he's getting called. He is so getting called as Wilanowski. Elke saying that was my move, but he's actually been bailed out here. And for Vanessa Selps, starting out this hand with over 800,000, taking Wilanowski's chips here, Mike, would start, you'd have to start thinking she's in a sense, a favorite to, to not only win the heat, but really to, oh no. That's a good flop for that door card. <laughs> so that's a good flop for that I door mean, card. That's just like a, that's she has flopped two aces, she ladies. has the king eye, eye, the king of spade, he has a six of spade. He's gonna need a queen or a six to win this pot. An eight comes off on the turn. And a red three ben Wilanowski needs a queen or a six or he'll be our eighth place finisher. Holding her breath. Was Vanessa Selbst and the nut flush on the river. Wilanowski taking the bagel for the third time in this Premier League poker. Well, made the wrong move at the wrong time, but because Vanessa was so aggressive yesterday, that's why he moved in on her, hoping she had one of her Garfunkel hands like she had all the time previously at this final table, but wasn't the case. She had a premium hand this time, and it paid off for her. Over a million in chips and a strong possibility that Vanessa Selps could come from seventh place in the league standings to make the final table. Well, really going to be interesting to see how it plays out from here. Ben Wilanowski, remember, was the only player that couldn't advance to the final under any circumstance. So really, him going out hasn't affected anything. The pressure really on these players now to try to accumulate points. Ben came to the Premier League main event through the global qualifiers. How's your experience been here? Um, you know, it's been a really great experience getting this far uh, in the Premier League. Obviously, the results aren't quite what I had hoped for, but um, it's been it's been fun being there with some of the best in the world. This is one of the toughest table draws I've ever seen, and it's. Uh, I, I hope I've learned a lot from it. We are down to seven in Group B's last league match, and any of the remaining players can still make it through to the final table. It's going to be a dramatic finish here for Group B. Welcome back to the Party Poker Premier League Poker Season 5. We've lost Benjamin Wilanowski from the Premier League. The seven remaining players are all still in contention, but only three will be guaranteed a place at the final table. Everyone having a look at the points now. 
if Vanessa Selps, oh, and, and, and Tim O'Shenko's got the kinks. Uh, he's not going to be folding. <laughs> I can assure you. Like, well, I was supposed to fold this, but I can just put all my chips in. It's it's in a no way are you wrong. <laughs> a very interesting decision Tim Oshenko <laughs> has because even though he's only got two hundred forty seven thousand, Mike, he is third in chips right now. And if if everything falls this way, he still if everything falls the way it looks right now, he would be guaranteed a final table spot. Well, Vanessa looking at point counts and she's looking at this chip stack and understands that four guys have got less chips than him at the table and if she moves in on him can he stand the pressure that's what she's looking at right here it's not her cards it's the situation and she she has I was going to say Mike what she has to consider is that Yevgeny knows the point counts as well as she does um, that he might not have even be playing a hand like as strong as ace king it has to be kings or aces well Evgeny is now looking at the situation he knows if he plays this pot and gets knocked out he could be out of it i'm talking about not even make the top five well unreal brutal this is a very strange situation that's come up she understands oh, that it's very here, difficult well. for him to make this call, That's even if he has two aces here, because of the chip count of the other players. If I had aces, I would just click it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big decision. On the other hand, what what is the likely to happen if he doesn't call, Mike? Well, obviously, he won't stick a chip in the pot, no matter what he has, if he's not going to call here anymore, because she's going to move all in behind him every time. <laughs> Selbst is saying that nobody can call except for the shortest stack at the table. Open full pre? I don't know. Okay, now he's enjoying it too much. We've made, we've made tanking fun for him, which is bad. All right, Scott, can you shut up for a bit? Because I'm actually thinking. And this is a this is a big thought. Currently, Scott Seaver and Patrick Antonius are ahead of him in points, and they are the two most likely candidates to go out in the next two spots, Mike. He's not so, reading about poker strategy there, folks. He's reading about the point counts, where everybody stands. He knows their chip counts. Wow, he's passed it. He well, has. he's passed that hand, and all you people sitting at home saying, what is he doing? What is he thinking about? He's thinking that he's got more chips than three or four players at this table, and they have to win a pot before he does. Otherwise, he's assured of going through. You might just make it like, do you still show if I will? That is the Depends. biggest right, fold Yevgeny has ever <laughs> made. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. At least on, it, it might be in his poker career. I was I was calling with aces. So, uh, I don't care if it's wrong. <laughs> I don't care if it's wrong. No, I'm serious. I'm not holding aces. I believe you. No, no, Just I, I incredible how well she uh, understands the situation the and here. knows how smart Evgeny Tymoshenko is. is. She got it. She understands well, we he's got a big hand ago. when she moved all in on him a minute ago. But she understands he's a very bright guy and understands the situation and can't afford to play a pot right now until some of these short stacks win a pot. Amazing. I never thought she would make that move. And then I never thought Yevgeny would fold. She obviously, she'd studied. She knew the longer Yevgeny looked at it that he was going to come to the only possible conclusion you can come to, which is he had to pass two kings. That's amazing. And Vanessa's actually made a pass there. Uh, and you did make the deal that the deuce three I did say the deuce three was not in the Thank range. You. I did say the deuce three was not in the range. And check that out, Mike. As soon as Vanessa Selps on folded TV one hand, Tom Dwan immediately moved his stack in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lay 10 to 1. It was off suit. <laughs> More chips, but you're probably happier. So Elkie is fight. in a spot where the better Vanessa does, no the, 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 the more likely it is that he has to get at least a second. Um, that third will never be good enough. and. I just, I just don't know how he plans to do that without gambling. <laughs> I'm all in. Really? I think she was just pretending to, pretending to think about it. This is definitely within her range right now. Although, uh, well, she moved all in again. 
Well, I think Patrick Antonis has got to play a hand. Well, he does have a few more chips than Scott Seaver on the one hand. On the other, I think the blinds come to him first. I'm not... Well, and Scott Seaver, of course, recognize that's the one guy Patrick needs to get by to almost assure himself of a spot, at least in the top five. So this is a very tough decision for Patrick. The one player he needs to outlast at the table is Scott Seaver. He's got more chips than Scott right now. He does. I think he actually has to. And he does yeah. lay it down. He believes Scott is going to be forced to make the first move. And Seaver oh. passing the two fives oh. there, Mike. I'm a little surprised at that, I got to tell you. That, I must <laughs> say, surprised me a little bit. <laughs> I had it. I mean, he knows at best he might be in a race, but he might even be better than a race. He could easily so have King Deuce or something start. like that in that yeah. hand. And well. he just opts to wait it out a little bit yeah. more. But Patrick oh, passing ace it. king, it wasn't I guarantee you. Pull off the old. That Five burns X. him on the inside a little Five bit. Five what, what I was so? talking to Patrick before <laughs> <laughs> we reassembled here at the final table, and he told me he's not thrilled with this format. He doesn't like it. It's not regular poker, and, you know, he's not a fan of this. He's hoping to get through to make it to the final where they get back to normal poker. But Now, this is an amazing decision for Tom Dwan. Um, he saw what happened to Evgeny Timoshenko. He knows what he needs to do. Come on. And so he's decided, he's just decided to move straight all in. Well, unbelievable. He's got 400,000. He's got two queens. A bold play by Tom Dwan. I know it's a big hand. Wow, you've got, he just passed the jacks. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Vanessa's picked up ace king suited. No. Well, she's back to the leaderboard now. Oh, this could devastate Tom Dwan right here. He's in good chip standing. He's got 400,000 more than everybody at the table, but Vanessa. 400 even. Yet there's a chance she could play this pot against him. Well, now she has to consider how many hands Tom would do this with. This is the dumbest spot ever. The the think, argument in favor of calling is that on, double up. is that Vanessa knows she has me. to win this heat. This is her chance, but really she wins this pot. It's almost impossible not to see her winning the heat. Um, well, if she folds this hand, she's still in phenomenal shape to win the heat. I think you're absolutely right. And and she won't have the toughest player at the table, probably in her mind, sitting behind her with as many chips as she's got. I, I agree. You know, this might very well be a fold, Mike. Also, because I think it is a fold. I really do, because I think she's got to put him on at worst two jacks. It's stacks, queens, kings, or aces. He's got one of those four hands, period. There's no other hand he's going to move in with. Thank the you. other argument, of course, if she takes him out, she has two-thirds of the chips in play. And she folded she it. Wow. A terrific Kings, fold. Wow. A brilliant strategy in my close. mind. It's just that it's like the way the chips were. That's kind of why I showed. I figured I don't. A lot of people show that I don't want to. She has an ace so I might not show. I don't want him to get second. I want, want him to get seven. Yeah. The same way that I might. I want him to get third. third. No, no, no. Yeah, you almost hold, but then you I mean, look like, at it and you're like. Uh, yeah, I thought about no, that, I mean, but I just thought. Seven, there's, there's a higher chance, chance you make yeah, playoffs. Yeah, there's a very high chance you make playoffs. Like, Patrick that Antonius that uh, knows. Wait a second. You're I believe like that. If he can outlast Scott Seaver, it's so unlikely that two players pass him. Uh, in the point standings, and uh, one player out of those top three look like they're going to go automatically to the final table. Antonis yeah, wants to make sure it's him. Else. Look at this. Yevgeny has picked up two queens. Now he's get, starting to get short, got more chips than a number of players here, but if he moves in, you know, remember he didn't move in before. If he moves in, that puts Vanessa in a much tougher spot to call her chips off. I don't think she's going to do it. You're right. It could look like aces if he moves in here. Maybe it should look like aces if he moves in here. I think it would look like aces if he moves in here. But on the other hand, there's only 15,000 chips to gain by moving in, Mike. And there's the Premier League to lose. And you're right. And he recognized that and threw the two queens away. Just incredible what we're seeing. We're seeing you have Kenny Tamashenko throw away two jacks, two kings, two queens. We're seeing Patrick Antonius lay down ace king pairs. We're seeing Vanessa Self lay down ace king of diamonds after raising every other hand. Just incredible what we're watching here in terms of tactics and strategy. 
and it shows you how smart these people really are. Camera's getting kind of old, you said? It's not. Yeah. It's really? also. <laughs> right now, you see the smile on Vanessa Sell's face. Blinds are going up again. She's saying, I love this format. Bring on more Premier League. Antonius, Seaver, Jungle Man, they're thinking, I'll never come back again. <laughs> <laughs> we return to Vienna after the break as Group B's last league match continues and we find out who will be the next player to be eliminated from this season's Premier League. Welcome back to Season 5 of Premier League Poker from the Montesino. It's Vanessa Selbst and Elke who must score points tonight to keep them in this year's event. Let's go back over to your commentators. Although I probably am shoving Ace Consumer like one and two. Yeah, well, folks, <laughs> it's only going to be about another yeah, round or two, and somebody's going to have to go all in <laughs> like it or not. Like a beautiful Ace King of Hearts. <laughs> and you're just going to be like, oh, man. No, I mean, it's like 90%. I'm all in. <laughs> Three rays all in. You're lucky that you got it under the gun, honestly. Oh, and here comes Jungle Man. Wow. wow. Well, Jungle Man can't take it anymore. He doesn't care. He's playing his hand. So brutal. The Hammer Brothers. And, and you know, Mike, I, I actually think Elkie has to call here. Well, Elkie has more chips than he does. So if he would win, he is calling. Wow. He is calling. A dream come true for Scott Seaver and Patrick Antonius and Evgeny that all these guys are going all in right here. The bubble has broke. And if Selp's hand holds up, of course, uh, I, you know, Cates and Elkie may both be out of the Premier League. And the, and the remaining five are going to be in. Well, gentlemen, out in front right now with the two jacks. It could be as simple as that. Jungleman saying he's not sure what he should have done. Obviously, let's let, let's run this out. Oh, There's the jack. Ace King Jack. Look at what's happened here. Jungleman flopped three jacks. Elkie's flopped aces and kings. Vanessa Selps drawing dead. Obviously, a queen and a ten would give them all three a chop pot. And if that happens, you're going to hear a lot of thuds on the floor of hearts. Well, there's a seven that comes uh, off. Point. Elke needs an ace or a king here. Oh, oh. Amazing. Oh, no, At, you know, I'm not sure you're supposed to call in that situation. Wow. And a seven That's comes off. So cool. Vanessa has made three sevens. Just think if Jungle Man doesn't call that, and Elke does. She hit seven seven to win that pot. That is amazing as well. <laughs> For Elke. The Premier League is over. Two points added to his 16 is never going to be enough to make the top five for Jungle Man. Uh, he may be thinking now about leapfrogging over Tom Dwan and uh, and trying to get in the top three. I mean, in my mind, Mike, uh, Jungle Man had a really difficult decision there, but I, it sounds like he came in with uh, an idea about what he had to do, and he's feeling good now. In fact, that pot a bit of a disastrous result for Seaver and Antonius. Uh, I know they're they're more likely now to make the final five, but both Jungleman and Dwan look to, are going to be looking to push them out of the top three. The tiebreakers are so crucial right now. I understand, but it's <laughs> like, well, and even Patrick, even Patrick's pulled out his sheet. Well. Sure, Patrick is less familiar with this format than everybody else, but on the other hand, you can see how it could so easily 30. be the spot there. Completely, <laughs> but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six calls. Look at Vanessa making a small raise right now to 30,000. Oh my gosh. Well, he's going all in, Scott Seaver. I don't care about Patrick Antonius or not. One yeah. raise all in. He's not throwing that hand away, he's just not doing it. And you have Kenny Wilbur. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Well, I think Evgeny will be throwing his hand away too. He has an ace king. She made a small raise this time. He went all in. You have Kenny really up against it here now. Mike, in, in Evgeny's mind right now, he feels like Seaver is definitely ahead of Vanessa's range and actually very likely to double up. He's right about that. He's right about that. Well, he folds the ace king and she calls with the ace deuce because it didn't cost her much money. And she obviously is going to try to take him out. 
But you just wonder, had Yevgeny moved in over the top, would she have played? She just yeah. said she would have folded if, if Yevgeny had shoved. Uh, Jack 7-3, so far so good for Scott Siever. He's just looking to dodge an ace. Two running cars to make a straight or two ducks. Well, the queen comes off. So we're down to the river. Vanessa must catch an ace to eliminate Scott Siever right now. Everybody at the table pulling for an ace, believe me. Doesn't happen as the queen comes off. Yevgeny saved his money. And Scott Siever moves into a prominent position right now after doubling up there. I say prominent because he now has far more chips than Patrick. Well, if you lost on that board, then you made a good fold. I would for sure fold ace king. For some reason, I thought, hold on. Definitely the worst for Patrick. This is the man who has profited the least from that result. He now <laughs> knows the cosh is on him. He has to be the next man to get his chips all in, or he's going to be the next man out. Yeah. So frustrating for Patrick. Oh, he's watched Scott down. Seaver move yeah, all in twice and win both pots. And I, I have a feeling that Jungle Man is not supposed to be playing this hand, Mike. However, if the players reckon that he knows that, they might say, well, they might say, well, he's going to have, have to have aces or kings here. Well, Scott Seaver, I can't see him playing ace jack here. And he doesn't. He goes out. Now, Jungle Man raised 30,000. Vanessa has made the call of 30,000 with just a king six off suit. She's obviously maybe going to try to put pressure on him after the flop just to test him. And it's come jack, jack, six. So Vanessa has made jacks and sixes. And this may get her in trouble. It may get her in trouble. We also may get to find out if Jungle Man intends to stick all his chips in the pot. He realizes he has to accumulate no. chips in his mind, and uh, he, he wants to take them off Vanessa Selbst if he has to. Well, Vanessa has made the call. So as the cards lie, she needs a king or a six to win the pot. She is checking. The jungle Man has got to be concerned. He's in a very tough spot right now. If he was to get knocked out in this hand, Mike, he would still make the, the the playoffs in every event except the one that Vanessa Selbst wins this heat. Well, let me tell you something. This is a great bet by him. He understands that she had a big pair, or she had a jack. She would have set him in. She didn't do that. He thinks his two H are the best hand, and indeed they are. But I'll tell you, jeopardizing your tournament life right here with two eights after she called a bet on the flop, not so easy. No way. Look, in. she's gone all in. She is just going to put the pressure on him. And now he is in a tough, tough spot. He just moved it down the flop of the call, dude. A really tough spot to be in right here. Yeah, he has he has two decisions to make here, Mike. First of all, is he ahead? Mm. And then second of all, if he is ahead, you know, how, how much does he want to call? This is the biggest decision that Daniel Cates has been faced with. It's not the kind of decision he faces really any day, just not every day. But in my mind, it's like Vanessa knows he's got two sevens, two eights, two nines here. It might be the worst fold ever. Well, it can be that bad. Vanessa. Just is killing me. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. It's watching Picasso paint a picture, I can tell you that. All the stone stones on the floor. Yeah, Jax? <laughs> no. Yeah, Jax? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so, I know that's a nice flop. You yeah, have Jax? <laughs> the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> they were laughing at him just trying to put him on tilt a little, oh, I think. Man. What a play by Vanessa. Just incredible to me. 
Nice All right, here goes the jungle man now. If you're going to laugh at me, I'm moving all in. Yeah. Makes it much easier. He doesn't know if this is right or wrong, and frankly, I don't think he cares anymore. <laughs> I mean, I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa has a jack three of clubs. I don't see why she would call here. No, this one will be above me if she makes this call. I don't understand it. No, she's going to have to outdraw him. I know she's in a dominating position and will just continue to run over the game, but what do you need to gamble with this hand for? Why do you want to jeopardize a couple hundred thousand in chips? She I needs to win the satellite. Doesn't matter about the jungle man. She's got to win it. So to give her the best chance to win, why would you play jack three there? She didn't. She folded. Jungle yeah, Man has to off. has to understand, Mike, that it's like anything. with the dynamics like this, it doesn't matter what his hand is. It's going to be a decision for all in or fold. You know, she's not going to allow them to play pots. Oh, you yeah. did. Better wishing right now. He just moved no, all in with the two eights matter. before the flop last not hand. Not if he's going to play him, that'd be impossible. There are I, five I know, jacks I know in this so Don't worry, I'm not going to say King Jack suited there. Oh, What'd you have before? I understand. What's going on? It's really, really, really fun to watch Scott's this line, play problems. out and the strategy involved in yeah. it. It's all about the oh, strategy, right, folks. Never mind. I, I, I had it wrong. Yeah, I knew. I had the ties wrong. Yeah, so I was about to say, I think that's exactly what you were saying. Still thinking. six players. Yeah, and what they're talking about now is these players have just figured out all the tiebreakers. The, the first tiebreaker, of course, is number of first places. For second tiebreaker is number of runner-up finishes in the four heats. Oh, look at this. The jungle man's picked up two queens now. Vanessa's raised 30,000 on the button, and he's going to move in again on her. Sick. God, if I had anything. And now they were all laughing at him a minute ago because he laid the hand down to her. Twice in a row now, jungle man's moved all in after that incident. He's had Jackson queens, but they don't know it. It's um, it's such a funny spot. Uh, I, I do believe that everyone has decided that, and Jungleman has pretty much announced that he's not playing tactics anymore. <laughs> he's just going to stop playing poker. Um, it's it's absolutely hurt his brain. Okay, I'm all in. Yeah, the dynamics seem to be changing ever so. so I, I, I don't know why she's made that decision. Wow. Well, just incredible. Close not good enough. That she's made that decision to call with a king seven here. Just figures if she loses a couple hundred thousand here, she's still got over 1.1 million in chips. She can continue to pound on everybody. Nobody's going to play against her anyway. And she might get lucky and win this pot. Let's see if she does. Well, she makes two sevens on the flop as it comes ace jack seven. She needs a king or a seven, two running clubs to win this pot. If Jungle Man is eliminated here, all the other players besides Vanessa Selps are guaranteed at least a top five finish. Well, a nine comes off. So Jungle Man got to dodge a seven or a king. Can he do it? He's done it as a three comes off. The Jungle Man has doubled up. And right now, he's very happy he threw those two eights away a minute ago. Maybe I should have played it differently. Well, she doesn't have a jacket. <laughs> he's, he's very honestly saying he's not sure if it was the right play or not. I'm not. But uh, obviously, two queens are very strong hand. The jungleman says, look, now that I've got some chips, I can actually go uh, and try and get the final table. I was pretty convinced she didn't have a jacket, but if she does have a jacket, it's like, or a 10, it's just like, I'm not sure if it's possible at a time. So I'm just so screwed if she just got attacked or 10. Just make like the worst decision ever. And then it, there's also some small chance she has like some sort of draw. You know, Mike, what you start to think when you're looking at the points totals about the way Sam Trickett uh, attacked and attacked in the final match of Group A from the chip lead. And then you look at the top three guys on Group B coming into this uh, last match, Seaver, Antonius, and Timoshenko, who are all at the very bottom of the leaderboard. Oh, look at this. Tom Dwan's picked up two aces. Vanessa's raised to 30,000. And Tom's gone all in. 
He's virtually announcing, I've got a big Duke. You want to fool with this hand, come and get it. I gotta show the bluff this time. I just figured you'd pull over too much. <laughs> but the ones you have to appreciate Vanessa. She was going all in, all in, all in earlier. Now she knows the small raise is going to be the same thing as making a large pre-flop bet here, a large raise, and you have to admire that. She understands everything, the tactics of this format, perfectly. She adjusted at the perfect time, did Vanessa Selbst. Her I don't think min raise is accomplishing the same thing the all-in did before, the same thing that the min raise did in the beginning. The other mini game going on here is that really at this stage, no matter what Vanessa does as far as winning goes, no matter what order this gets knocked out in, she is, the, her best scenario is to get into the playoffs. Well, Patrick has moved all in here with the queen eight, Jesse. Three raise all in. And she's going to go all in over the top with the five high, the five four clubs. And Patrick's going to love it, seeing he's got the best hand right now. Yeah. Why do you think Vanessa has done that? Does it suit her for Patrick to go out first? Trying to give him chips. Ah, uh, she's giving him chips. That's her plan. Wants to keep him alive so she can keep pounding on the game. What could I do for you, Patrick? It's not over. What you say? It's not it's over. over. Oh. Well, he's saying it's not over. He's played poker long enough to know that she could easily suck out by catching a five or a four. That's all she's got to have to win the pot. Mike, that's her. That's a brilliant strategy. She knows her tactics work better if Antonius doubles up. Obviously. She knows nobody else is going to play a pot. She can pick up pot after I pot after pot. You played it like you were supposed to play. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Every so often I get it right, just by stroke of luck. It just shows you another level of her intelligence, folks, how brilliant and the thought process that she has, understanding every single dynamic and aspect of what's going on. And, and Patrick just gave her the highest compliment he can ever pay a human being. He said, you played <laughs> it like you were supposed to play it. I, I, I've never heard him say anything nicer. Uh, helping him. <laughs> we'll be back after the break as Group B's last league match continues here in Vienna. Welcome back to Premier League Poker 5. We've reached the climax of the league as Group B takes to the felt for the last time. It's a final chance for players to accumulate points in this league format. Tonight, three players will be sent packing. Back to your commentary team of Jesse May and Mike Sexton. Well, Scott Seaver still has more chips, obviously, than Patrick. He's going to force him to win another pot. <laughs> yeah, this, this starts to get trickier and trickier for Vanessa Selps now. Uh, with Dwan and, and Kate's on her left having chips. Well, Vanessa makes it 30,000 to go. And you've got to be kidding me. Dwan has picked up aces again. It's just incredible, folks. You're only supposed to get aces on average once every 220 hands. And, and I'm not, sh I don't think she calls him here, but. She certainly is going to start thinking about it because of those dynamics I mentioned. She knows she's going to have to knock either Dwan or Jungleman out at some point. Is is now the time, Mike? Tom Dwan would not make this play without aces, kings, or queens. Might not make it with queens. I think it's a, just a snap fold for her right now. I, I believe she's going to find better... Uh, situations when this game gets five-handed and I'll I think you have to find a better situation than this you know he's not gonna make a play here without aces kings or queens he's just not gonna do it at this particular time I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why Mike if Seaver Antonius or Timoshenko go out sixth which looks very likely I really want to bust you it's looking really bad for me otherwise <laughs> how many times can you have them? So unlikely you got them three times in a row. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the coin's been head twice. Head After twice that happens, the other yeah, two exactly. players um, in that trio eight, will start to be a lot more aggressive with their chips. What do you say? It's true. It's the most yeah. unbelievable waste of aces. Well, she's saying, how many times can you have them? And she's right. Incredible. 
last hand. You're fading a lot though. You're fading the, like the queens. Maybe the ace king soon. Probably not. Do you have an ace? Yeah. King? Okay. Then that is more understandable. You know, at least an over. That would be so fun to get a shove again. And that's be so tilted. <laughs> <laughs> I might just get snap spited. <laughs> there's no spite in this one. Three raise, third. Yeah, I, I... Well, here she's I raising with a queen deuce so offsuit. I'm not sure of that for this hand. Oh, my God. I can't, can't imagine that the spite is growing in this one. <laughs> Willing to play the pot Take against anybody right except one of the two big stacks, I think. And she's going to win this pot. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's how things have changed. That's what Selps is talking about now, that all of a sudden winning doesn't automatically put her in. It's amazing, and the blind's going up yet again. The amazing thing, Mike, is everybody is so concerned with their own strategy, their own possibilities. Here's what would be amazing to me. Vanessa Selfs has played absolutely flawless at this table. Every move perfect so far. She can win this satellite, win this tournament, and still not go through to the final. Now think about that. Not even the final five. That is that is amazing. But as you said, it would take a certain exactness, a trifecta for that not to happen, but it is possible. I mean, that's what it's looking like it's going to happen, you know? Well, Patrick will be going all in here with the two nines, I think, for sure. And there he is. Oh, and Scott Seaver's got two queens. I think he's got to play this hand against Patrick. Mike, this is going to blow Group B wide open when one of these players goes out. Well, he has done it. He's moved all in as well. So the two point leaders both all in. So I think Scott's just called. I know there's there's not much in it, but he has left himself a few chips back just in case. And just in case, I guess Vanessa wants to call and maybe try and check it down. Is that is that possible? Uh, she might consider. Would she consider trying to knock them both out? Does it help her to knock them both well, out? I think she would call here first and then bet on the flop. I just don't think she would set him all in right here. But maybe she will. And she is just calling. So as you said, Scott Seaver does have 25 or 30,000 left is all he's got. Pot's got 238,000 in it. And here we go. And if Jack comes up, she's gonna move in now for sure. I, 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 I it's interesting, I mean, there is a chance she's, she was trying to double Patrick check, up before. Check. But Patrick has flopped three nines. Oh my gosh. Patrick is gonna win this pot unless a 10 or a queen check. comes up. Ah. I have queens. Oh, oh that's good. If you bet I was gonna fold. That's what I, you know, I was thinking that, Mike. She did not want to win this pot. If you bet I was gonna fold. Well, I disagree, I think she did want to win I thought pot, you liked to that, but you know. She didn't want to win it. Why would she call to start with? Well, it was on the same line of her trying to double Patrick up before with not wanting Tom Dwan or Daniel. Now, now these these tactics are quite strange, but she's... Well, Patrick Antonius now in the driver's seat. Believe it or not, he's in great shape here. Scott Siever is down to just 25,000 in chips. He's going to go past him on the leaderboard if Scott goes out next. What certainly looks likely now, tough beat for Scott Seaver there, two queens against two nines, but you have to feel like there's a little justification for Patrick here, the way he's played and what he's witnessed at this final table. Vanessa has raised the pot and Dwan's going all in again. And, you know, there's already been some talk here where... This Bottom of the range. Maybe not, maybe. Well. Aces, 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 and now queens for Dwan. So, in terms of who's catching the most cards, I don't think there's any question about that. <laughs> they give you a gold star for that. Tom Dwan would get it here at this table. It, what, it's like the that dreams are made of. What, what Dwan's saying about this strategy, and it's quite funny, he's saying, look, 
he doesn't have any reason to to want to go all in and bust Vanessa, and he knows that Vanessa wants to bust him. So when you when you mix those together, he doesn't have a reason to re-raise her light. Well, Tamashenko now looking at the board. He's sitting on the second low stack. I think he cannot play a pot until Scott Seaver goes out, and Scott's only got 5,000 left. Must go all in the next hand, no matter what he's got. So. Yeah, right now for Timoshenko, it's about the tiebreaker situation between him and Vanessa, and also. Well, here's a case that Patrick should lay down two aces right here if he has them. I know it's hard to believe that, but that's the case, because Scott Seaver has got to be all in here. Five well, Scott's got the 6-3. He only had 5K left, so he had to put it in there or the next pot. Might as well get some value and put it in here. If Seaver gets knocked out now, he will definitely be in the playoffs at least. And he will just have to wait and see how things turn out for a chance to still make the final table in the top three. Well, he needs a six or a three on the river. Doesn't get it as a jack comes off. That's going to do it for Scott Seaver. Played a bit unlucky when he lost his two queens against his key opponent. Patrick Antonius, who had two nines, but still, as you said, at worst, he's going to be in the playoffs and has a good chance to go straight through anyway. 30 points is a benchmark right now for the final table and for Vanessa Selp. She's in a much better place than she started the day, but she still has a bunch of work to do. Seaver on 30, players now guaranteed four points. So we know Antonius could also be on 30 if he's the next out. Timoshenko will be trying, I believe, thinking that fourth place or better is his new benchmark for making the final. For Jungle Man, he has to get third place or better to get to 30. Dwan needs to get second place or better to pass 30. Scott Seaver will be a very interested observer now, and may maybe he can do some uh, Freakonomics, uh, Mike, and, and turn tell us what the possibilities are. If Vanessa intends to get into the playoffs, Mike, she has to knock out either Tom Dwan or Jungle Man out of the top five. Um, the situations where where Jungle Man would not make the top five or is if he doesn't, I think he needs to get fourth place or better. So she needs to knock him out next. And I, she's just decided to go after Dwan and Cates now with the all-in. So this is this is a this is a big decision. This is a big decision. Man, I think Dwan's got to lay down the two nines here. I don't see how you can call with this hand here. He's got to get to second place to advance. Just that simple. He doesn't care who he plays against. He's got to get to second place. Well, or Mike, knock Vanessa out at any time. But if I sit here, I just get blinded out and I get third a lot and then lose. And you end up with all the chips and win, I'm screwed. Patrick and Yevgeny are super short, or super likely to go out now. This is what he's, this is his line of reasoning, Mike. He's, he's looking yeah. ahead to the future. Yeah, it's brilliant, actually. He, he, he knows, didn't expect anybody else to play a pot. I would have called it. He knows Vanessa's strategy before she does, or is exactly, He's thought about it. He knows what she's trying to do. And he's called. Well, and you're right about that. He's looking ahead here. That's it's really bad for It's just me. incredible. <laughs> Queens over here. Patrick oh, Antonius. Wow. I'm Vanessa can't believe he called I'm so light. So you know what I mean? Like, I, I lose so much. If I had, if Jungle had less chips, I for sure fold. But he only has 200 less than me. It's like, well, this is just amazing that Juan will look that far ahead and understand the scenario. Nobody's going to play a pot. And if it comes down to three-handed to her and Jungle Man and him, she's going to dump her chips off the Jungle Man to keep him alive. Amazing. I mean, right, wrong, whatever. Dwan, comfortable right making a half million dollar decision, thinking right about it, going with his gut, now. risking the whole Premier League. I was really I was incredible. And, and, and now it's just a 10. A 10 for her to win. It's split with a five. And ace comes off. 
Tom Dwan has doubled up by taking a huge so risk, in my opinion. I Folks, I would not have made that call, right, right. but Tom Dwan was looking farther ahead than I was. It's like a chess master. He was like Bobby Fischer right there, looking so far ahead in the chess game. And finally, it could be checkmate for Tom Dwan before it's over. And that is the perfect. I've never heard a better explanation of it than that, Mike. He saw the whole game in his mind's eye. He knew exactly what was going to happen. Likely, not guaranteed. And wow, he just went with it. This is Don Dwan's second attempt at the Premier League title. He had a rocky start as he missed his flight from Macau and joined Heat One League. We're where we think, where in the world Tom Dwan is. Right? Yeah, probably over Hawaii right now. He might just stay in Hawaii. <laughs> but once in Vienna, he certainly got into the spirit of this season's Premier League. That's not a good start. I'm just so bad at folding. This is the first time I've ever heard Tom Dwan be excited about the chance of folding. Good news. Ended up getting a decent finish the first heat. I got uh, six points, which was just under average. Second heat, I had a bad finish. I think I got sixth. And then the last heat, I got second. Where if I had won the last heat, I would have been in awesome shape. But uh, unfortunately, I got second, so now I have 20 points. I'm still in decent -ish shape. It seems like I have a bunch of different possibilities. So, you know, if I have a bunch of spots where I'm a big favorite, or I think I'm a big favorite, I can get some bluff spot or whatever, then I want to try to make it into the final for sure. Let's be clear, if Tom Dwan loses that hand, Every time Vanessa Selps wins the, goes on to win the heat, which has to be 75, 80% of the time, at least, Mike, he's out of the Premier League. Look at Patrick holding two eights right there. He's just going to try to outlast Yevgeny. That's his mission now. It's not the other players at the table Patrick's after. It's Yevgeny Tomashenko. He wants him out to make sure he maintains more points than him. Wow, now what should Dwan? Well, Dwan's gone all in. Vanessa's going to take him on. She, she, she has to call everything here. I, I, yeah. I wonder if this is actually a mistake by Dwan. Wow. Well, this is incredible. It may not be a mistake because he's still going to have a half a million in chips even if he loses this pot. Okay, right you are. So he'll still be in second place, but I'm like you. I think Vanessa might have to gamble right here in this spot. She knows she's not only got to win, she's got to prevent Dwan from coming in second. I, I um... I think you could have made a case for Dwan just calling and trying to keep the pot small there, but maybe, like a chess match, he looked ahead and said, as soon as she gets in a pot with me, she's going to move all in anyway. Let's just end it now while I think I have a, 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 I'm a favorite. Very I interesting call. scenario right here. She has made the call. She has done it. She understands the situation, too. She's another Bobby Fisher on the green felt, no doubt about it. What do you say? I, I think she's she in this flip right now, even though Selps could be knocked out of the Premier League, she's happier and she's trailing. She's happier than Dwan. Well, it's come Jack 9 7. The 210 still out front. He doesn't want to make three tens. That would give Vanessa a straight. She's looking for a king, queen, or a ten right now. And, and, and Yevgeny's rooting Dwan on as well. And a spade comes on the turn. She <laughs> now has a flush draw as well. This is huge for Timoshenko. This is huge for Antonius. This is huge for Selps. And it's huge for Jungle Man. And she made a flush. Make a set. She has made a flush. She is going to win this pot, even though Dwan has made three tens. Vanessa Selps figured it all out, just like Dwan did in the previous pot. And we are back at it again with still five players left. Uh, Amazing, and what an amazing flop turn in river. Uh, all the stakes in Group B hinged on that hand, Mike, and it hinged on a river card as well. Well, no question about it. All of the players rooting for Vanessa to go out because at worst, they would now be in a playoff uh, position. Like I'm saying he gets He's not gonna get him when I Now she's back in it, no, you and one of these players I'm could be eliminated but I'm calling him so wide. from the Premier League, no I'm question about it. Than you. Had Vanessa kind of Selbst lost that you know, pot, right. Uh, yeah, Yevgeny still, like, would have been guaranteed to go to the final table in the top three. So would Patrick Antonius. 
and Dwan and Jungle Man would have been guaranteed playoff spots. Yeah. Now the cat's back among the pigeons. Well, here's Jungle Man moving all in with the Ace King right here. Not quite all in, but near enough. He's actually, during heat number two, Mike, he got called for a string bet. It got a little messy in the hand. It ended up actually uh, costing Patrick Antonius some points. For Yevgeny Timoshenko, he's all in on the big like blind. <laughs> and um, well, you talk about a player that's gone out like Broom Corn's uncle. You're looking at him, and you're giving Timoshenko hasn't played yes. one pot at the table. He played one bet for 30,000 when he had two kings and then folded when she moved all in on him. <laughs> and that's the only hand that he played to start with at this table. He is just blinding himself out, and I believe it's the right strategy in terms of the point count, the way things are falling down and working out for him. Unfortunately, it was. Had Dwan knocked Vanessa out in that hand, strategy would have proved sound. He would be at the final table for sure. He gets knocked out now. Ooh, come on, one time, one time, one time, one time. If he gets knocked out now, he'll have a good chance to be in the playoffs. Well, he's gone all in for his last 11,000, and he is up against it. Uh, is this mine? No. It's King no. 10 versus King 7. Oh. oh, that's a good door card for you, though. That is. And a 7 right on the flop. A great flop for Tamashenko. More agony for Patrick. I've never cared about a half a big blind pot as much in my life as I do about this one. Listen to him. This is the biggest half a big blind pot he's ever played. Well, he makes a flush draw on the turn. He makes the nut flush. It turns out <laughs> to take down that pot. Vanessa gives him a little fisty. Says, OK, take it down. I wish everyone was in. <laughs> I wish everyone just limped in there. Try to knock me out. Join us after the break. As Group B's last league match continues, only three will be guaranteed a place on the final table. There are five left in this critical league match, and although everyone still has a shot at the final table, the calculations are getting complicated. Helping you figure it all out are your commentators, Jesse May and Mike Sexton. Yes, Mike, there's five left, and Everyone has an individual strategy that is competing against the others. Think about each player's uh, best case and worst case scenario at this table. Vanessa Selps, first of all, uh, even though she's the chip leader here, there's only a very uh, specific way she can make the playoffs, and that is by winning this and also uh, making sure that Tom Dwan doesn't get second. Uh, and so there's a lot of really complicated scenarios because Tom Dwan is second in chips right now, where if they get three-handed, she will have to coax Jungle Man or someone else along and fold every time they put chips in the pot to make sure that she wins and Dwan doesn't come second. Uh, Timoshenko knows that if he gets knocked out next, that uh, Scott Seaver is gonna, is gonna be at the final table along with Antonius, and if Antonius gets gets knocked out next, qualified. it'll be Yevgeny at the final table, most likely with Scott Seaver. So much strategy involved here. It looks simple, but folks, it is complex. Oh, wow, he's got ace-queen. He's got ace-queen. Well, he has moved all in with it. So he's oh. saying, Dur, okay, you want to gamble? We'll gamble. That's why he's the best. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Vanessa thinks she's been out thunk here. Up. God. <laughs> <sighs> and. Am I going to get another? Well, Tamashenko. Okay, so I think after Dwan's moved all in, knowing Vanessa's oh. got to play a pot against him, I don't know why he'd want to get involved with this hand. He's, he's thinking about the chess match, Mike, and thinking, does he get a better shot to outlast Patrick than having to win this pot? You know, he's got 30 in. He's got 32,000 back. Well, but recognize also that if Dwan or Vanessa goes out here, he's going to be in the top three. That's another, that is another consideration. Mike, you're, you're right. You're right. Vanessa may call. 
I mean, I think she might call in this spot, believe it or not, with the 9-5. She's got to beat Dwan, got to prevent him from getting in second place. Otherwise, she's not going to be able to advance. So she's going to have to gamble with Dwan at some point. And right now, she can afford to do it. Got way more than twice as many chips as him. If he wins this pot, she'll just have to be able to chip stack back up and try to do it another way. He's oh, going for it. What, are you, what, what, what is she doing? Me? She's going to fold the next hand. Two away. Wow. So sick. So sick. She's going to fold the next hand. Well, that's incredible <laughs> that Yevgeny Timoshenko would play that hand. Yeah, he gets a triple up here. I'm, my, is this a I'm going to fold under the gun. I, I agree I know, with really Tom Dwan. Like, I, thought you were against against I don't understand why he got involved. Yeah, 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 Yevgeny can win from his small blind so often against Vanessa Selbst. I know, I know. That's why I thought he shoved because he can't really play. Tom is so right. Well, just incredible. He'd make this call and knock himself out. She might have gambled with his hand on a 9-5. Flop a 7 3 4. Timoshenko yeah. needs a jack to stay alive. Yevgeny's realized it. It's, he's right. well, I'm in shock that he called there. I, I, he, he's if, if one of us happens to wake up, then yeah, you're screwed. That's all you're fading. It's like 5% or whatever, 10% that someone shows. Now a king just... comes off on the turn. Yevgeny needs a jack to stay alive. Doesn't happen as the 10 comes off. Notice Vanessa would have lost the pot as well. Now, Yevgeny Timoshenko in the clubhouse now on 29 points, still has a chance to be in the top three, but the likelihood in his mind is that he may end up in the playoffs, and Patrick Antonius has just done it again, Mike. Well, he has gotten through, and believe me, the other guy that's cheering right now at the bar is Scott Seaver, because he now stays ahead of Yevgeny, Obviously, if I and good chance he may go through as well now. A good chance. Uh, a good chance, not guaranteed, but a very good chance. Antonius, though, absolutely guaranteed. Uh, Jungle Man and Dwan could still both pass Scott Seaver, uh, but it would have to be a situation where uh, they, they split up the first and second place points. Very complicated situations happening at the table, and uh, it can be difficult to keep it all straight. What everybody needs to have happen, what you need to have happen. What was the uh, ace jack hand about? I, I called off the last big blind with ace jack, uh, but I didn't realize that Vanessa actually wanted to bust Tom, so I, I guess it was a really bad fold. And I, I don't know. I very complicated. It is a very complicated situation. Thankfully, you do have a playoff seat at least locked up. And there is still a possibility, I believe, of going to the final based on how things kind of finish out here at the final table. So uh, will you stay around and watch? Absolutely. <laughs> There's a lot to sweat here for me. OK, thank you. Thanks. Tamashenko, who plays so it. conservative and proper all day, I just want to promising to himself, what was I doing there? <laughs> I don't care. Convenient timing on your big blind. Three raise feel six that. Feet. Well, the, the other dynamic that's going on right now oh, is four. that uh, for, oh, wow. Raise. And, and Selps knows that by knocking Jungle Man out, she wins all permutations of her winning, if you know what I mean. If she can knock Jungle Man out, then all she has to do is win to can get in. Well, she can afford to make this call in terms that she'll still have the lead. I call. And she's made the call, and she's going to absolutely hate the hand he turns up. It's the worst possible hand for her. Look at her. He turns up the Kings. It's not the hand. She wouldn't care if he had aces. She'd rather him have aces than Kings. It's the worst possible hand for her. I know a lot of easy decisions. For him to show down. We, we knew it was going to be a case of self deciding to when to gamble with either Jungle Oops. Man or Tom Dwan. She's picked it now. Well, the only possible hand that he could have had worse was one of those kings be the king of hearts instead of the two black kings. But she's plumped an open-in straight draw. <laughs> she's gone from 7% to 30. What a beat this would be for the Jungle Man here if she makes this straight. Well, she's made That's a seven really now. She can win turn. the pot with a seven. Really Can't turn. win it with really a straight. They would split the pot seven? if a five or a ten come off. She can only win it with a seven now. Got to hit the slot machine. Three sevens. Doesn't do it as a nine comes off. So the jungle man will double up. 
But she made that call, as you pointed out, Jesse, because strategy dictated her to do so. She needs to eliminate Jungle Man before he gets to third place. That was her opportunity to do it. It didn't happen. And right now, she does not want Patrick Antonius to go out of this tournament. Believe me, she wants him in there. Because otherwise, she'll only be able to focus on Dwan. Right now, she can focus on Dwan and Jungle Man. Because if she takes either one of them out right now, she has a shot to advance. Take raise all in. Threefold. Well, Antonius has moved all in with the queen nine. And now, what he's looking at is, does he want to eliminate? I think Jungle Man wants to eliminate Patrick more than Dwan does at this moment. But I, I agree with you, Mike. I, I feel that in many spots, Tom Dwan feels when these players get three-handed, uh, he is going to come third. If he knocks Patrick out now, and then there's the next person to go out, he and Vanessa wins, he does not make the playoffs. Well, well I'm surprised Dwan's playing this pot. I, 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 obviously, I'm wrong. Dwan feels like it's a good thing for have Patrick out. Well, I don't understand why. And two holes, you mean? Oh, I don't because know. if Patrick goes out of this tournament, Vanessa will never play a pot against Jungle Man. She'll only be after Tom Dwan, and will actually, if Jungle Man gets short on chips, we'll try to fatten him up to keep him alive. Because she, I mean, it's possible that Dwan's called trying to double Patrick up. He, he does only have a 10 deuce. He knows he's behind. Maybe he's called trying to double Patrick up. But what's the reason for it? Why does he want Patrick in? Yes. You're behind by eight points. Well, a 10. So there you go. So it doesn't make any difference. No, you're more likely to go off court. Tom Dwan. By getting first is if you go two, three. May eliminate the, Patrick the Antonius right, right here. The ships matter. Right, That's right, what I'm right. saying. I thought you meant As he catches a nine or a queen, doesn't okay. happen. That's so going to do it for Patrick yeah. Antonius. Out in fourth fun. place, but through to the final. Mission accomplished. He has been supreme this entire yeah. Premier League and we'll be seeing Patrick at the final table. Uh, it sounded like Dwan and Vanessa were having a discussion about the correctness of Tom's call. I I'm puzzled why Dwan will want him out because what you're going to see now is virtually open collusion on the part of Vanessa and the jungle man. Honestly, she's not going to want him to go out. She's got to keep him in there. She has to bust Juan in third place for her to go in second. Yeah, he's got to go out in third for her to advance, and then she's got to win the heat. If Jungle Man is the next player out, then Vanessa is out, also out of the Premier League. She will have to fold aces to Jungle Man preflop, or else she will knock herself out. Patrick came into this heat at the top of the league, finishes with 32 points, I believe, which is going to put you on to the final. What were some of the factors that you had to go through in your mind when looking at all in hands here today? Uh, I, I'm like speechless, you know. It's, it was very frustrating for, for a lot of players. Just the strategy what's involved with this, and uh, I just tried to do my best and hang, hang in there and got lucky with a couple of hands. And, and nothing else really to say. Three players are left in this league match. After the break, we find out who goes straight through to the final table, who will go head to head in the playoff, and who will be eliminated from this season's Premier League. Welcome back to Premier League Poker. So far, Benjamin Wilanowski and Elke have been eliminated from this season's Premier League. Now, we are down to three players, and we are about to reach the climax of the league matches. We need to get second to uh, get to lock a seat. If I get second, I'm in the final. Oh. I don't play off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just punish everyone. All Tom has to do is knock Jungleman out in the next position, and all Vanessa has to do is knock Tom Dwan out in the next position and then win. Well, Dwan can knock either one of them out. Hey. He doesn't care who goes out next. He's going to go through to the final. What the? F huh? oh. Come on. You have king queen? Yeah. Are you serious right now? That's a chop. D Dwan's moved all oh, in. God. Jungle Come Man's on. called, and I, Tom I thought he was dead. Worst ever. 
come on. Tom thought he was I dead. He, oh. he said, I what? can't believe what I just did. It is incredible. Wow. I can say that. I'm not that saying he did out. that. He could have easily that. gone out in okay. third place. I mean, and that would have put Vanessa through to the playoffs what? had Jungle Man won this pot. Of course, he terrible. still can win it. I had, like, a okay. bunch of spots. I right. But it figures to be a split pot, obviously. He's not happy with himself. I think Tom Dwan. In his Plus, mind, he should be raising like small on the button. Oh. Anyway, it, this, this is likely to get what? chopped. He's ahead. He's got the, oh. the only way somebody can win is to make a flush. Good news. And that's not going to happen. It's going to be a chop pot. Doesn't matter what comes on the turn <laughs> and the river. Tom thought he had just gotten knocked out of the Premier League. Oh, it's incredible nice. how quickly he was moving in there. Not a queen. <laughs> and the jungleman making that play. <laughs> well, I guess there's an idea, Mike, that jungleman can afford to gamble right now because he is guaranteed for the playoffs. He's supposed to call this. I mean, he still wants to uh, with this good hand, with his really good hands. So if jungleman cage gets first or second, he automatically goes through to the final. Same thing with Tom Dwan, automatically through to the final. Vanessa must win and prevent Dwan from coming in second. She must knock him out next. Moment. My all in. Oh, look at this. The perfect scenario for Vanessa. This one's on site. Where Dwan could be knocked down to third place very simply here. He's got ace queen. Jungle man's got ace king. I think he's out. You think he's not out because he's got the jungle man covered, but not by much. Just a few thousand. This is just exactly what Vanessa was dreaming about what happened. That there's a chance they would clash and Jungle Man could knock him out or she would knock him out. Win, lose, or draw. The table is set for Vanessa to possibly get through if the Ace King holds up here. Now, it's come nine, five, three. So, so far, so good for the Jungle Man. As long as the chop doesn't come on board, I'll, t I'll tell you. Well, I, th I think you should just wait till, the, till it's over anyway. Because you don't know what can happen. Like, you could run it up and then. Or whatever. I mean, if you want to say it, just say it. Amazing. Tom seems to think that Jungle Man has made a bad call, even though he has the ace king. He seems convinced that Jungle Man's made a bad strategy decision, but the fact of the matter is... I disagree. Jungle Man needs the first or second to go through automatically himself. If the board pairs, he'll split the pot. It's a deuce. Nice hand. Well, Dwan thinks he's out. He is not out. He still has some chips left. If you think it's okay. It just depends he how much started that pop with, with more chips than the jungle man, so he's not out, but he is deflated yeah. and in bad shape. They're going to count these chips down. Dwan's not going to be left with very much. And what a heads up this is going to be set for with, with Vanessa having to win to go through. She'll have a chance if Dwan goes out next. She'll still have to beat jungle man heads up. Well, so Juan thinks for some reason Jungle Man wasn't supposed to play that hand, but I'm trying to figure out why. The Jungle Man needs to come first or second. What are the odds? Maybe he thinks he's just supposed to sit back because he knows that Vanessa has to clash with Dwan. Right. Under any circumstance, so why would he get involved? And in all the circumstances where Vanessa and Dwan clash, yeah. Jungle Man goes to the final table. Uh, that that would make a little bit of sense. That does make a lot of sense. So if he lays his hand yeah. down, he knows Vanessa has to play him a pot. And so one of them's going to go out, and he's going to advance. They have to play against each other. Vanessa has no yeah. choice. Okay, just, Juan knows just, that. He's shocked that Jungle Man got in the middle of that round. Yeah. It, it makes sense when you think about it. All Jungle Man has to do is not play an all-in pot. The only way that Jungle Man right. cannot go to the final table yeah, is by getting his chips in the middle, which Instagram he doesn't have to do. 20%? What do you mean? Or the 17, uh, 16%? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. I like it. The premature. I mean, I still have 12,000. It's not like. I read it up from five. It's got third place. It's, it's a little different situation. Look at that. You made choice. A little different situation. And, and Tom's a little upset, and when you start to look at things, you can understand why he's upset. He feels like Jungle Man, even with the Ace King, uh, did something which was very, very bad for Jungle Man's own then, interests, which he didn't expect. Yeah. And 
Well, Dwan understands I could see it that now, Vanessa but... and him have to play pots. Yeah, hit trips. It's in both their interests to knock each other out, so they're going to clash. Yeah. So Jungle Man could just sit back and just let them clash. They have to clash. It makes perfect sense. Uh, and uh, it just shows you, he just couldn't lay the Ace King down. It's amazing. We, we didn't see it. Jungle Man didn't see it. But Tom saw it as clear as day. <laughs> it's true. Right, and. Uh, What's your big blind, Chuckle? Oh, Chuck. And Ch Chuckle spit lost. I think it's just, he's just clocked onto it, too. And it was pretty much professional courtesy there that Tom didn't say anything to Jungle Man when the King Queen happened. But I guess he was hoping that Jungle would think about it. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Um, 30. Especially uh, with Dwan now knowing that he almost, the best case scenario for him right now is that he's going to have to play a heads up match to get to the final. Tom Dwan, the best case scenario, if he goes out third no. and, and, Dwan, and Jungle Man wins. Yeah, he could be out of the Premier League, and for a guy that was thinking so far ahead in this match, tactics-wise, strategy-wise, Tom Dwan could be eliminated out of the Premier League. And it would be a shame, honestly, in my opinion, to see that happen, because his thought process was just absolutely brilliant. Yes. Except for the one tragic error I thought he made with the 210. Uh, he didn't have to get involved she, in that She spot. couldn't bust you. She couldn't bust you. If you're yeah. shoved the, the button, I literally could not call she with aces. She can't call aces. I can't call aces. So you should fold ace king. You're you're a hundred percent to get in the final because right. we're gonna bust each other, right. and oh. like you're a hundred percent to get in. It's a sick parlay for Vanessa to get in. I literally can't call aces. And instead you're calling ace king. We're like my yeah. range is super sick tight there. I literally um, can't call aces. Yeah, yeah. The... Yeah, she needs I, to I call. She hand. needs to call me like almost every hand. So I'm shoving super tight, so you're only, I mean, See, you're still ahead is, of my range, it, but you're thought, like literally you were gonna a blind me out, So I was shoving three, four off twice in a row because I knew I had to shove every chance I got because I thought you were going to blind me out. Or yeah, the other thing is anytime I fold jungle, yeah. you can shove and she can fold every single oh, hand. Oh, I know. And yeah. anytime she min raised, you could have shoved every hand oh. once you, you know, once you chipped yeah, up and we were right. three-handed. All right, can we take a switch? So sick. But hey, now please win so I can get in. <laughs> Sorry, Vanessa. Say good luck, Vanessa. <laughs> There's no justice. That's unbelievable. When he folded his first button, I was just like, I win. I win the draw. If you just fold, you, you get to fold, shove a third of the hands and just pick it up for sure. You literally can never yeah. lose you a know, blind. every small blind. You're playing poker and with no blinds. Yeah, yeah. No. So you can call with aces there? if you're feeling frisky and you don't like Tom. Right, right. It's like, you can but, spite but Tom But you're going to end up getting more chips than me because I'm going to blind down and then you can spite me with aces like occasionally. Yeah, you can just, every, you know, you can, like, spite but realistically Vanessa and I are going to bust each other. You're going to slowly build up chips. And then like when I was down to 6,000, you should shove every hand. And Vanessa needs to fold every hand. more hands also. I suppose you guys understand this better than I did. You should lose heads up just to spite That's what, and the king queen, the king queen call. You should purposely fight Vanessa heads up. Hey, by the way, the king queen call is like ridiculously behind my range because I'm shoving super tight because she's going to spite me every time. I know. And it was like. It was, such <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> like my head almost exploded. <laughs> With that knockout, Tom Dwan is now hoping that Jungle Man will win, so he will make it into the playoffs. But if Vanessa wins, she will overtake Dwan on the league table because of the tiebreak scenario. And Durr will then be knocked out of the Premier League. You seem to be a little upset with Daniel as you came off. You're giving him a few words? Uh. Upset with him is is not the right phrase. I was I was upset the way he played. Uh, I thought I, I, I'm sure there were things that I missed that I could have played differently, but uh, I'm pretty confident saying they they weren't as much as the things other people in the heat missed. Uh, I didn't really think anyone played right. Some of the people it happened to cost me a ton. I'm gonna probably go to the bar so that I don't need to watch the heads up because I think it'll tilt me too much if the chips swing. Uh, I'm a little tilted by the outcome, which you can probably tell because I don't normally go on two minute long rants, but uh, you know. All right, well, thank you very much.
We're heads up here in this final league match, and it's Vanessa's Premier League that's at stake. Daniel, it seemed like uh, you were the only one who was really kind of comfortable at the table. Everyone else had all kinds of permutations going on. Was that fair to say that you, you know, a little more comfortable than everyone? Um, I'm not so sure about that. I just wasn't really showing. Uh, I mean, there's not much incentive for me to show like being uncomfortable. I was. There's a lot of times where I was sweating it actually. Well, you're definitely through to the final. Uh, for Vanessa, this is absolutely critical. At some points, it looked like, you know, your head might explode uh, because of how other people were playing. Yeah, I mean, you know, we had sort of, like, I had kind of, like, figured out what we were supposed to be doing. And, uh, you know, it's just really tough sometimes when it's, like, all changes so quickly and you have to figure out exactly. Like, there were times when I went, like, I should have min-raised. And then I, there were times where I should have shoved and times where I should have min-raised. And I don't think I got it exactly right, like, when the times changed. But it's so complicated. Um, so it's just really interesting. Well, we're back to uh, actual poker, and we are heads up here. So I'll take you back to your commentary team, Jesse May and Mike Sexton. We have seen some of the most amazing brand of poker ever. For Vanessa right now, her entire Premier League is at stake. And Mike, I, I just feel, uh, and a lot of people sure watching feel, she has performed so well up to this stage of the final heat. You, you almost, you, you're wishing her success in a sense. Well, it's true, but you got to feel the same way for Tom Dwan as well. Yeah. I mean, his strategy was brilliant at this final table. And, and he feels like this man right here, Jungle Man, was his downfall. Well, here we go. We're going to see some fireworks here. Well, Vanessa's got um, 30 big blinds, so she's certainly willing to get it all in. And there is a every chance that that the jungle man has has limped to shove knows what's happened here jungle man limped in on the button here 95. and vanessa now 95. raising it up top or total 95 and total. 60 more. 65 more. yeah now is he just trying to keep the pot small because he's got the chip lead no sir some players would have limped with this hand to shove it all in mike certainly but just not the jungle man's idea Looks like he's just trying to play small ball right now as long as he's got the big chip lead. Let's see what happens here. The king comes off. This could be beautiful for Vanessa. Well, it's come 8-7-6. No help to either player. Vanessa out in front with the ace king. He's hit nothing on the flop and maybe fortunate for him a king didn't come off or she would double up most likely. On the other hand, he might be one of those advanced thinkers like we saw Tom Dwan was, recognizing that if he raises her here, he might just take the pot away from her if he puts her on ace high. And if he puts her on ace high, he knows raising this pot, he can win it right here. And that's exactly what he's done. This an incredible play by the jungle man right here in my mind. Did he really hit some of this flop? Is she drawing dead? All these things going through her mind right now. And how does having the, the ace of clubs, is a, it feels like it's kind of a key card here. I don't know how that's going to affect her. She has called. Wow. That's wow. the one thing I didn't expect her to do. I thought she might move all in or she might fold. I didn't expect her to call here. That's it, incredible. It could easily freeze Jungle Man up. And the up. king comes off. Not now. And it's the king of clubs. And it's over. I mean, not over, but... Uh, She's certainly going to be thinking about doubling up now. Well, and Jungle Man may just tank off here. What a card for Vanessa, the king of clubs, the dream card. She's got top pair and the nut flush draw now. It, it, it feels like overall, Mike, I mean, for him betting here, he's only going to get action from, from better hands more often than he gets action from worse hands. He might decide to check, thinking that he can get action from worse hands on the river. All in. Well, he's going all in, and she's cold. That's it. And she is going to double up here unless he hits a red queen. That's all he can win the pot with. Vanessa Selfs has doubled up right here unless a red queen comes off. Incredible. You got to turn your hand over. Yeah. And true. Jungle Man, it, it looks like he's just falling. I think he's collapsed here, Mike. He has. Well, he has. I, I mean, that is a, a. He could have checked it down and I, got away with it, but he didn't do it. It that does not, I, we'll have to ask about that later. I don't think that that was typical of him, that bet on the turn. I don't think he's going to be happy oh, with how sure. that went. Well, not only the bet on the turn, what he's stunned about is that she called a $200,000 re-raise on the flop 
with just ace high when it came six, seven, eight. I think that's got to be fuddled the most. Just can't believe what happened there. <laughs> I tell you, Daniel Cates right now is looking down for the count. He's looking knocked out. And for oh. Vanessa Selbst, she had a plan from the very start of this table. She's now got her arms round the playoffs. Well, that was one of the most amazing heads up hands that I've witnessed in a long, long time. I got to tell you the truth, Jesse. And I've seen a lot of heads up battles in my life. But the way that so hand was played was just amazing to me. Jungle Man limped seven. in on the button with King Queen. Got raised, didn't re-raise. And then he raised on the flop of a six, seven, eight. And she it's called 24. the raise with just ace high. Hit the king. She checked. Eight. He could have checked raise. behind her, but he moved in. Call. She called a double up. Incredible. Uh, Best news for Jungle Man all day uh, is that he's got the rest of his ships in in a flip. Uh, he's looking like somebody. <laughs> he, look, he looks like he needs a double himself, Mike. He looks beat up, knocked out, drawn down. Well, uh, comes 10, 6, 4. So far, oh, so good for Jungle Man. He can get all his chips back right here if he can dodge a king or a queen. And two two runners to make a straight or two runners to make a flush. And if Selps hits the king or queen on the river, she's in the playoffs. About like 20 flips in a row when I played online yesterday. <laughs> well, Vanessa saying to herself, come on, I deserve it. Give me a king or a queen on the river one time. Oh, and it's Jack. so close. Paint. Well, just that quick, Jumbleman doubles up to it's take the chip lead. There's not much in it now. There is not much in it now. Uh, and if there's anything in it, it looks like yeah. I, I'd have to say Vanessa has the edge, Mike. She's she's determined, or do you think there's just is it just a flip? Well, I wouldn't give her the edge. He's got a 300,000 chip lead on her, so to me that gives him the edge. But still, as you said, she's playing impeccably, and it does seem like Jungle Man's a little bit in a fog right now, doesn't it? One of them is playing for their Premier League life. Tom Dwan is not uh, delighted with the fact that his fate is in Jungle Man's hands. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, look at this. Jungle Man's raised on the button. She's got the worst hand possible in poker, wow. a seven deuce offsuit. Wow. That's Yet she is three betting, coming over the top with this hand. <sighs> you usually see that being a bluff is a sick thing. How many people do you know with three bet with a seven deuce offsuit with a tournament life on the line instead of just quietly muck the hand and move on to the next one? That is that is so strong. That is so strong. Girls don't bluff. And with that pot, she reassumes the chip lead. You know, it's not true at all. I mean, what can you say, it's Jesse? Not really? True. She is just an artist at work here. She is Mike and pre-flop. Um, I, I think her game is going to own Jungle Man's. I think he needs to try. I think he needs to try and uh, try and get to the flop as often as possible. Is it Jungle Man making all those five hundred thousand dollar challenges to anybody? Who is that? Uh, he he had yes. It's Jungle Man making all the head up challenges. He he challenged anybody in the world to play him heads up poker. Um, he might better take Vanessa Selfs and Tom Dwan <laughs> off that list. <laughs> Mike, we make could a few exceptions. The the chips could be going in here. It's a flush draw versus top pair. Well, no question about it. Vanessa's flopped two queens, the top pair. Jungle Man has the nut flush draw. You usually you wouldn't consider someone very strong when they lead out, Mike. I mean, it, you don't. Be unlikely for Jungleman to have a better top pair. Usually he's on some kind of draw or. or well, I think she's figured that out. He would check raise with a top one. I call. All in and call, just like that. He's on a draw. She's got the hand. Can she hold off a heart or an ace? That is the question. I believe Vanessa might have a very few chips back, but essentially, this is it. This is a flip, though you like Selps' side for her Premier League future and also for Tom Dwan's.
Jungle Man looking for a heart to end it, and Ace would give him the lead. And there's the Ace, peels so right off for the Jungle the Man. Oh, I heard a cheer at the bar from Tom Dwan. She now has to catch a queen or a five. That's not a heart to win this pot. Very few outs for Vanessa right now. Doesn't happen as a 10 comes off. She played brilliantly. She's still not out. I think she's still got a hundred and some thousand left, but you got to feel for her as well as she has played Excellent. at this table. Hi, it's, it seems unfair, yeah, it Mike. Vanessa Selbst, uh, for me, no, just one of the stars of this Premier League. Uh, Premier well, League Poker 5. I had never gotten to see her play before. She has a game that uh, you could model you could you could model a dream on as far as I'm concerned. Well, I can tell you this, very few players in the world, man or woman, have a better poker game than Vanessa Selbst. Period. Very, very, very disappointing for Vanessa. As hard as she fought, did everything she had to do early on at this final table, all the way through to the final, and just possibly not going to be her day. She's going to have to come from way back now. She only has three big blinds, so there's the play is pretty much out of it. Oh, geez. That's well, it just seems like destiny on the side of Jungle Man. Look at this. Vanessa has to go with this hand, I think. Doesn't matter what she's got. I'm pretty sure she has to go with any <laughs> two, she, really. Just pot odds so dictate she goes with a jungle man smiling. He's a little bit embarrassed, I think. Got the two kings, you know. I mean, it's one thing to have king high and move all in. It's another to have two kings. Vanessa knows it's just not meant to be, unfortunately for her. And sadly, we're not going to see her at the final table of the Premier League unless she gets very lucky in this hand. Well, a king comes right on the flop. Three kings. You, She's yeah, going to have to hit. Running straight. Two runners hit a straight. Yeah, Must come right. a seven and eight for her to win this pot. Never Nothing else up. will do for her. A three Never and a four would win it that. for her as well, but that's it. Huh? Must that. take two runners to I win a straight. Running straight if I'm allowed to choose. Two running hearts would give her a split straight. pot. She'd stay alive. Right. Doesn't happen. A six yeah. comes off. Tough luck for Vanessa Self, but I guarantee you one thing, Jesse. She made a lot of fans out there by her performance in this Premier League. Well, I'm one of them, Mike. <laughs> Jungle Man will be at the final oh, table. Gosh. He's going to have a lot of chips first, but it's Tom Dwan who uh, is the other beneficiary of that heads-up battle. And what a Premier League poker it's been so far, and what a lot we still have to go. We say goodbye to Vanessa in the Premier League after uh, an incredible performance, particularly here in this last heat. How are you feeling about your play today? Honestly, I, I gave it everything I had. You know, I think I played my best poker. I've played all week by far. Every spot, I think I made the right decision like almost every single time. And uh, at the end of the day, I lost a big flip with King Queen. I lost another like 60-40. Uh, and not much you can do about that. No, it did look like a bit of a body blow as well when that happened. So uh, it was wonderful watching you play. It was a, a hell of a lesson, I think, for a lot of us. So uh, hopefully we see you again here in the Premier League. Great. Thanks a lot. Let's have a look at how Group B finishes up. It's Jungle Man going to the final table along with Patrick Antonius, Scott Seaver, while Timoshenko and Dwan will have a heads up playoffs for another seat at that final, Mike. And unfortunately, Vanessa Selps didn't make it through to the playoff position. Elke Grosby and Ben Wilanowski out as well. So Daniel wins this fourth heat. Not only that, knocks Vanessa out of the Premier League and allows Tom a chance to come back in through the playoffs. There was a lot of emotion out there. Did it start to get to you a little bit? Um. Well, uh, it got to me a little bit, yeah. I, I was nervous. I was really sweating the all-ins in general uh, when when um, it wasn't clear that I qualified. It seems like uh, the other players as well, when Tom went out, I mean, it was really pivotal for him as to whether or not you were able to knock out Vanessa. Is there any pressure there? Um, I, I wasn't thinking about that. I mean, from my perspective, all I really have to do is uh, just be... <laughs> Or I don't really have to do anything. I just have to try to win. Are there any spots that you kind of look back on and you wish that you would play differently? Yeah, the king queen hand. When it's pretty clear that these guys understand like the way the points work better than I do. Uh, the king queen hand is clearly a big mistake in retrospect. Uh, when I called Tom shot with king queen, and I also thought he was like a bit a lot shorter in terms of big blinds, like eight instead of 23 or whatever he was. 
Yeah, a lot of calculations to be made out there that you wouldn't normally see at a poker table. But going into the final, I think we're back to uh, actual poker, so good luck. All right, thanks. The final table lineup is nearly complete, but two seats still remain. Next time, the heads-up matches play out to determine who will take those last two spots. It's Andy Fragenberger versus Phil Locke and Tom Dwan against Yevgeny Timoshenko. The Premier League stars are feeling the pressure to keep in contention for the $500,000 top prize and a championship title. So sick. Sorry, buddy. That was sick. Big lay down. Please don't yell at me if I slow roll. Without all the acting, I actually probably would have snap called you. Check called, could have checked raised, bet, bet called, bet showed. That is a lot of options. I like my chances. This says I'm folding. I win.